Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Today's entrees are bean and cheese burrito, baked chicken nuggets with dinner rolls, or Asian chicken salad. Today's sides are crunchy baby carrots with ranch dressing, steamed broccoli, and assorted fresh fruit. Today's birthday is Emery S. Happy birthday! To all Barrett staff and students, Get your hats and hair ready! This Thursday is Holiday Hair Day at Barrett. Be sure to decorate your head in a festive winter holidays manner. Let's have some fun and send this year out with a festive holiday spirit. This Thursday, Fun Holiday Hair Day! We are back with our final installment of first quarter celebrations and goal setting for second quarter. We've got four of our fifth graders here. And as you remember, when we sent the report cards for first quarter home, we asked third, fourth, and fifth grade students to reflect on what they're proud of from the first quarter and think about what's my goal for the second quarter? What do I want to achieve? And we've got these four wonderful fifth graders here to talk to us a little bit about their thoughts. And why don't we get started with Gabby? What are you most proud of, Gabby, from the first quarter? I am most proud of um, participating in projects and activities. That's big, because sometimes projects can be complicated. There's a lot of steps to get to completion, and you've focused on that, and you can feel really good about your progress in making sure your projects are done well and meet all the criteria. What's your goal for the second quarter? To stay on task. Ooh, staying on task in class. What kinds of things are you doing to make sure you're achieving that goal? Mm, not saying next to people that I need to talk to. Mm, that's, a, that's a good one. It's hard sometimes to make a decision, you know, there's my friend, but I'm not going to sit next to them during math because they might be talking when the teacher is giving us important directions or teaching us an important skill with adding fractions. Um, and by choosing to do that, you'll be able to really stay on task because you can always see your friends at recess and lunch. Good call. Nice. Louisa, what about you? What are you proud of from the first quarter? Mm, I'm proud of um, being kind to others. Mm. So you were recognized in the first quarter and teachers have commented how you're always kind and helpful to other people. Um, even within that work and study habits section of the report card, there's a mark for how you get along with and cooperate with others. And you did really well there. You got an O. Do you have a goal for the second quarter? Yeah. What is your goal? Uh, to bring all my homework in and my homework to be done. Making sure every single piece of homework is done. How are you focusing on that? Um, I sometimes I keep on forgetting my homework and trying to stay on task with that. Mm. Is, does your agenda book, that homework notebook, help? Does yeah. it help keep you organized? So using some of those tools to help you stay organized, make sure you're getting everything done and turning it in. Good goal. Let's see how you do on that. Isaac, what are you proud of from the first quarter? What are you um, most proud of? I think I made the most progress in reading, even though I didn't write down my progress. I did a lot of reading, and um, I like it. I also enjoy it. Good. So you do a lot of reading at home too. So you are really proud of the volume of reading that you did. Yes. You read a lot of books. You were reading for more than the required homework and reading. 
Good, good for you. Do you have a goal for the second quarter? <laughs> kind of. Yeah. What what is your goal? Do you want to share it with us? Like I want to make more friends to play during recess. That's an awesome, yeah. awesome goal. So you're thinking about I want to have more variety in the kinds of things I'm doing at recess. What's your What's your strategy? What's your plan so you can make that goal a reality? So you're maybe approaching some people you haven't talked to or played with before to see, hey, do we have interests in common? Are there things we want to do during recess and play together? Yes, like that. Cool. Perfect. That's a great goal. Good job. Okay. Dante, what are you most proud of from the first I quarter? I made the most progr progress in reading larger books, like The Mountain or, or the Mountain Meets the Moon. Mm -hmm. I su suggest that to all of you. And uh, I, I forgot his name. <laughs> so you're most proud of the fact that now, as a fifth grader, you're reading longer books, and longer books require a lot of stamina. You're really focused on making sure that you're following through. You're probably spending more time reading to get through the longer books. Good for you. And you even had a book recommendation for us tonight. What's your goal for the second quarter? To get better grades in instrumental music. Mm. I want to upper my... I forgot my record. I, I want to upper my level of playing an instrument. So you've set a goal related to instrumental music. You really want to increase your proficiency. What instrument do you play? Flute. Playing the flute. That's a, that's a complex one. That takes a lot of practice. What are you doing to make sure you really raise your level? I'm taking my brother's sheet music and practicing it now. Your brother's sheet music? My brother's in seventh grade. He's in seventh grade. So you're taking on more challenging pieces to practice and really push yourself. Good for you. Good, good goal to set. So you can see across third, fourth, and fifth grade, we have a lot of things that we're celebrating that were successes in the first quarter. And we have some really awesome goals set for the second quarter. We'll be doing the same activity at the end of the second quarter when your report cards go home. We'll be reflecting on the things where we made great progress, where we improved, and that we should celebrate because we're working hard and doing well. And we'll be setting goals for the third quarter. This is going to be a really exciting thing as we go forward, and I'm really looking forward to hearing from you guys how you're doing on your goals. We'll check in and see what kinds of goals everyone will have for the third quarter. Thanks so much, guys, for sharing.